I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on application of quadratic equations. The question here is Carlos is diving off a platform that is 15 meter high into a pool of water that is 45 meter deep. Carlos height h in meters above the water is modeled by h equals to minus 4.9 t square this is t square okay plus 1.2 t plus 15 where t is time in seconds after starting the dive you need to find how long is carlos above 15 meters and how long is carlos in the air you can always pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestion now here's a small sketch to represent the situation. So Carlos is diving from here and that's the pool. I'm not showing the depth, just the top of this. So when you dive, you kind of go like this, right? So I'm just sketching like this, like this. So as you can see from the given equation, let me write down the equation first and then we'll discuss. The equation given to us is h equals to minus 4.9 t square plus 1.2 t plus 15 right so if t is 0 h is 15 so that means this point here is at 15 so so the diving board is 15 meters above this the level of the pool now the question is how long is Carlos above 15 meters so when you dive you go up and then down so do you see this that is also 15 meters so in this we have time on the horizontal x-axis height on the vertical y-axis and initially to start with Carlos dies from a board which is 15 meter high above the level of the top level of the water in the pool right so I hope the situation is clear so for doing the part a what you need to do is solve the equation when height is 15 right so you have to find the value of t so we can write replace h with 15 so we get 15 equals to minus 4.9 t square plus 1.2 t plus 15 right so that becomes the solution for part a and for part b what should you do how long is carlos in the air so in the air means when you hit the water level, you are in the water. So how long does it take to reach this point? Time, I mean, you know. So at this point, what is the height? Height is zero. So now replace height h equals to zero in the given equation. So we have zero equals to minus 4.9 t square plus 1.2 t plus 15. Once you solve this equation, that time will give you the answer right so these are the two equations to solve you can pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestion let's solve the first one taking 15 to the other side 0 equals to minus 4.9 t square plus 1.2 t plus 15 minus 15 right same height they cancel off so we have minus 4.9 t square plus 1.2 t now we can factor t right so let me factor minus t then i get 4.9 t minus 1.2 now this is zero when t equals to zero that is this is equals to zero or when 4.9 t minus 1.2 equals to zero so if you solve this you get time t so t is equals to taking 1.2 dividing by 4.9 correct so that is how you find this time and this time is in seconds so let's do it 1.2 divided by 4.9 equals to 12 over 49 or 0 0.244 okay 0 0.244 seconds so that is the answer so for from 0 to that much time, this time will be 0 0.244 seconds. Do you see time is given in seconds here, height in meters. 
So the, for that long, Carlos is going to be above 15 meters. Perfect. Now the second one will give you how long Carlos is in the air. And that's a quadratic equation. You can apply the quadratic formula. So t equals to minus b, which is minus 1.2 plus minus b square. That means 1.2 square minus 4 times a. a is minus 4.9 times c, which is 15, right? Once you solve this quadratic equation divided by 2 times a, a is minus 4.9, you get your time t. Do you get it? So we can figure this out. Okay. Now, so this minus 1.2 plus minus, let's find the square root thing first. It's always good. I could have solved all together, but let's find the square root thing first. So the square root of 1.2 actually speaking we'll put it in brackets so it is square root within brackets it's good to put it in brackets sometimes calculator may do a mistake minus minus becomes plus so i'm writing plus here 4 times 4.9 times 15 bracket close right let's go outside the square root and then equal to so we get 17.188 let us skip two decimal places and here we get minus 9.8 right so i'm just multiplied two times 4.9 you need to multiply don't take away okay so that is what it is time is always positive and therefore i should take the negative value right so if i take positive value this is divided by nine negative it will be wrong so what we get here is we should actually take the negative values add them up right so we have uh, 1.2 plus we'll add them 17.188 equals 2 so that gives us uh, okay a decimal value let's say right so it is minus 18.38 okay let's say 388 divided by minus 9.8 to give us the time so we'll just divide this by 9.8 which gives us as equal to 1.876, right? So we get our time, which is around 1.9 seconds, right? So you could approximate this to 1.9 seconds, right? And you could approximate this to 0.24 seconds, right? So this time when you hit the water level is 1.9 seconds approximately. But I hope with this, you understand how to solve such an equation. How long Carlos is above 15 meters? It means this, H is 15. How long Carlos is in the air? That means when he touches the water level, at that time height is zero. So that helps. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope this helps you to review the concepts. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.